Hello and welcome to another Spacemax tutorial. Uh, in this uh, tutorial we're actually going to make an update to a pull request we've uh, we've created to make a change within inside Spacemax. Previously I did a video to show you how to create a Spacemax uh, uh, pull request all from within Spacemax itself. So this time we're going to take that pull request and actually just make a change based on the feedback that we got from the pull request we submitted. So I'm going to go down to my recent files, we're using R, um, and then JJ down to the readme.org file. So this is the documentation file. So the change I made previously was to uh, just go to toggle between keyword and uh, string, and that was using K. Uh, however, I'm going to kind of follow the convention that they're using here, actually using the characters. So I'm going to change that to a colon, so just do R and then colon, so I'm just replacing that for colon, <coughs> and I'm just going to check, is that in the right place? Uh, no, I, I kind of want to move it further up, uh, I think I'm going to move it yeah, a little bit further up, uh, and I can use the alt and up arrow, um, because we're in org mode, it allows us to dynamically change the table. Uh, rows, so it's really, really nice. You can also do with columns as well. Uh, so I think that's in the right place. Is that in the right place where I want it? Uh, yeah, so I want it after they convert, after these convert lines. So I'm going to uh, save that, so space FS. And uh, I also obviously want to make the change to the code file as well. And I'm going to open it just by finding file, which will open the file in the current directory, and it's in packages.l. We can go down to the key bindings. There we go. So instead of RCK, again, I'm just going to replace that and use colon instead. And then is that in the right place? It is in the right place. It matches where I put that into the documentation as well, so that's quite handy. So I could just file, uh, file save that. So that's the actual physical change made. <coughs> If I go into uh, my Git client, my, my Git, so we open uh, Git uh, status essentially, and we're still in my uh, branch uh, which I made the pull request for. We can see we've got my two uh, changes that I've made, <coughs> and I can tab to uh, open them up. And uh, it's I'm still not sure why it's doing that. That kind of there must be kind of some kind of space. Formatting I've got on my, yeah, I've got automatic white space cleanup, so I think that's why it's including that change. So I don't want to include that change, but I do want to include this one. Uh, so I'll stage that hook with just pressing S, and then there's the actual change to the code. Uh, we can stage that as well, that's exactly what we want. So we've got the change to the readme org and the change to the code. Um, so we can just do a commit. So commit, we do commit, and uh, we're going to do an amend um, to here because we want to basically put this change back into the original commit. So if we do an amend, so now we've got the uh, original commit message, and we can see that uh, the actual description is slightly out of date as well. So we need to just change that <coughs> to reflect uh, it's a colon we're using now instead of a K. So that's ready to go, and we're in fire mode, so we can just do comma, comma, or if we're in um, Emacs mode, we could do control C, control C. So here we see we've got uh, something that's unpulled and unpushed. So the unpulled is our original commit, which is no longer in our history because we've actually replaced a D55 commit with our with our amend. So amend actually creates a brand new commit with a brand new number because it's got different content in it. So what we need to do is push our change back up to our, our branch, back up to our pull request, uh, and this will replace the commit uh, in the remote. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to have to force the push. Uh, so we can uh, we can do p for push, uh, and they see this. There's some switches options here, um, so I'm going to uh, use uh, f. So I'm going to type in minus f. 
and that's going to uh, switch that switch on uh, and that's going to force the updates is going to force a uh, an overriding of that of our new commit uh, and then we can just push <clears throat> uh, and that's finished so now we can go to our pull request and uh, see what's happening so here's our original pull request and if we can see we've only got one commit and we've still got uh, the two files that we've changed we actually look down here and see we've got the change to the table we're using colon so that's okay uh, and we're uh, yeah we're using RC colon as well so that's all good uh, if we go back up to the conversation uh, we can see now that I can uh, yeah, we're doing some checks because we pushed a new uh, thing there so I can make a comment to just say that I've pushed an update to this uh, pull request so now I've uh, I've added a, a comment to this just to make it very clear that I've made the change and what I've changed and why I've changed it uh, so now I can, um, I can press comment all the checks have passed so let's see what actually happens uh, in the next few days see if anybody uh, is willing to uh, uh, merge this pull request uh, so you can see using Spacemax and Maggot, uh, it's quite easy to actually make a change uh, and push it. Um, obviously, I keep my uh, my pull request branch open until um, <coughs> it's uh, it's been accepted, uh, so I can keep going back to it. And if I keep if I need to make more changes to this, it's very easy to do so. I don't have to kind of recreate anything. And um, uh, so it, it is all pretty straightforward and, and Space Max makes it uh, really nice and easy and simple to use. <clears throat> I am creating a series of, of screencasts uh, around Space Max. Uh, I welcome any feedback or any suggestions of uh, features you want to see or any comments or better ways to do things with Space Max than I'm currently doing. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening.